Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another quick unboxing. Well, hopefully quick. We'll see. Uh, this is one you're probably going to see a lot of the next couple of days to the last week because um, Avengers uh, Endgame comes out, along with all the other 4K steelbooks of uh, Iron Man and um, Thor. So just a slew of steelbooks this week. Uh, but I got an Avengers Endgame first, and I'm going to do an unboxing here for you right now. So here we go. Um, this looks like it's in pretty good condition here. I got this uh, on Saturday. And um, I have only seen this film the one time. I enjoyed it. I saw it in April, back when it came out. Um, I know people have seen it like six or seven times, which is seems excessive, but you know, I guess I'm just not that kind of that, that young person going to these movies like in groups like that again. Uh, back in the day, I used to see, I saw Spider Man a couple times, Spider Man Two back in the day. But uh, anyway, um, like I said, I liked it. I, I think I don't think I liked it as much as I liked um, Infinity War. I wouldn't say there's like more action or anything. I, I'm not exactly sure. This is one's well. I mean, if you know the story and obviously you're following along, this one's more of a downer, I guess. And there's... Let me get this off of here. One... Actually, it's not much of a blot. It's more of a... Like a pad of glue right there. That's cool. I like that. Very simple. Oops, still some there. Um, so this is a glossy look here. I think... I think that one's were glossy, too. Infinity War was, yeah. And like they've been doing for the last couple of years now, there's no title on it. It just says the A Avengers and it's got them on the front there, which is kind of, eh, it's okay. There's the back. That's kind of nice. And there is not a spine slash, which is cool. like that. Okay, hold on. Let me take the coat out. It's a three disc set. Got your 4K in front. With your bonus Blu-ray there, and then the Blu-ray uh, film over here. So no DVD or anything. And there's Scarlet Johansson. I almost said Scarlet Witch because it's, you know, a character, but it's not Scarlet Johansson's uh, her signature. And then RDJ with his signature, which is cool. That's a cool image, I guess. So I think that's all or most of the characters... Um, I think, is that everybody, everyone on the front here is people who did not get dusted, and the ones in the back here are people who did get dusted. Spoilers, maybe, I don't know. What's that in the middle there? Oh, that's, I was like, that looked like Gamora for a second, but no, that's uh, Scarlet Witch. Very cool. I like it. Ah, shit. Um, so yeah, I guess I don't have anything specific to say about this. It's, um, I think everybody and their mother has seen it or buying it or whatever. Um, it's the most watched film or the highest grossing film of all time now because it beat of it, uh, Avatar from 2009, which, if I'm being honest, I never, I never loved Avatar, although I think I've only seen it the one time, so maybe I should watch it again. They're making, like, 28 sequels, which seems excessive, but, you know. Anyway, Steelbook looks good, the discs look good. Glossy, glossy, whatever. It's cool. Let's take a look at the back piece here. And there's that. You can read that. <clears throat> Excuse me. The fourth installment of the Avengers series in the once-in-a-lifetime combination of 22 interconnected. I suppose is that that's probably a, um, a, a a huge feat in itself. The fact that this is the first film of its type, you know, of 22 connected films. All these characters appeared, or well, not all of them, but lots of them appeared. RDJ appeared in almost every one. Um, all the way back to Iron Man 2008. And that's, that in itself is a feat. It's pretty fucking cool, actually, um, to have a connected universe like that. And they're going to continue, obviously. This is not over or anything. It's just this section is kind of done. Um, so anyway. Um, so the usual shit, the synopsis, a little blurb with a picture of them, uh, movies anywhere, 4K stuff, with no, I'm assuming, no features on here, just the movie. And then Blu-ray's got all the special features and stuff, so... Remembering Stan Lee, of course, they're going to have that on there. Selling, setting the tone, catching D Robert E.J. Um, a Man Out of Time, creating Captain America, Black Widow, whatever it takes. Lead scenes, gag reel, was Brothers' journey to Endgame, and more. And bonus, varies by format, which, yeah, I think, like I said, all of these are going to be on the Blu-ray disc or the Blu-ray special, you know, second disc. I'm guessing these might actually all be on the um, other disc. But we'll see. Um... 
And what's the runtime again? Was this three three hours long? 181 minutes, yeah. Three hours and one minute. Which is very long. And it did, I mean, to me in the theater, I had to piss at least once. But um, that's because I'm an old man now, so I have to. But it actually did go up pretty quickly. Because, you know, it's just shit, shit, shit's going on so long. Watch it, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19. Okay, yeah, I'm just, that's the regular shit at the bottom there. So, yeah. Very cool. Wish there was a... There isn't, is there? No, there's no tabs in here, so I can't put that in there. But, you know, that's fine. I guess I could do it like other people do, just put it like that and put it in the case. But I have another from other ones, so. So, yeah, very shiny. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this out again. I'm looking forward to checking out all my other ones I'm getting, too. Um, Iron Man's and whatnot. I need to probably do a proper sit down and watch all these all over again, but um, probably won't because it's just so many damn movies. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Like I said, you're going to see probably 150,000 of these in the next 48 hours, so. I guess enjoy it. <laughs> Just pick the ones you want to watch. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Um, it's an unboxing. Best Buy Steelbook. Just their usual fare. It looks pretty good. I feel like the image is a little kind of meh. Like, it's just some dudes in the front and the A, but, you know, I guess it's a little plain, but it's still fine. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again later for more unboxings and all kinds of shenanigans. So, thanks for watching, and bye.